Hey guys, this is Pentecost from IV bringing you a second installment of a Fekka tutorial. It's been just over a year since my last video and I've just been waiting for that Fekka balancing but it didn't happen. There were a few minor changes here and there but overall the class Fekka has been unchanged since my last video. So I thought I'll go back to my roots and make a general tutorial on the class Fekka. In this video, I'm going to give you a general overview of the class. To start it off, the class Fekka, according to Ankama, are... Fekkas are faithful protectors. They hold an important place in groups of adventurers because of their protective powers, not to mention their skill with the staff. For generations, the Fekka have prided themselves on guarding what treasures wise men have entrusted with. This is a load of bollocks, because I've been playing a Fekka for seven years and not once have I met any wise men, let alone been trusted with treasures. What is true though, is their importance in groups. Fekkas are a shield-based class equipped with an array of defensive spells. It starts from simple damage reduction spells like Earth Armor, Glowing Armor, Aqueous Armor, and Wind Armor, which reduce damage in the respective element, to more complicated spells like Fekka Shield, which reduces damage in percentage-based reduction. Immunity, which offers complete invulnerability from all attacks. Spell Rebound, that reflects all damage and AP drain targeted at your turn. Fraction, which shares damage received between your allies. And Truce, massive reduction to all players, enemies and allies on the map. The biggest advantage over other classes is the ability to reduce most, if not all, damage dealt by enemies. The strength of Fekka armors depends on the character's level, so the higher the level, the stronger the armor. Other than their shields, they have some offensive spells and unique gameplay. Glyphs are unique abilities of a Fekka, which varies from purely offensive, like Burning Glyph, which boasts one of the largest area of effect high damage spell in game. And also, AP and MP drains, like Paralyzing Glyph and Glyph of Blindness. These two can completely immobilize an entire mob and sap their AP in an area of effect which makes it one of the most powerful crowd control spells in Dofus. Because the defensive spells are not affected by any characteristic you invest onto a Fekka, it allows for a wide variety of builds to be created. For example, the Intelligence build is a master of glyphs which can utilize both offensive glyph spells, burning glyph and aggressive glyph to its maximum potential and maintain consistent high damage to multiple enemies. The Strength build are lethal tanks that destroy anything in their way, making the most out of potent damaging spells like Backlash, which not only damages, but steals strength, making it more lethal each blow it makes.
The Chance build is one of the exotic builds that takes advantage of the highest damaging ranged spell in the Faker's arsenal, Bubble. And can also steal Chance using Cloudy Attack. And the Wisdom build, the crowd control debilitator using Glyph of Blindness and Paralyzing Glyph to inhibit multiple enemies or completely sabotage a single foe using Stacking Glyphs. These builds are however interchangeable and more often than not, the pure builds have limitations. Hybridizing into two elements or more can offer great versatility and the number of combinations are nearly limitless. So, that ends my overview of the class Faker. If you have any questions or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Leave a comment below or make a post on the IV thread. Thanks for watching. Until next time.